Good evening, I'm Allie Kramer. In tonight, we continue our coverage of the University of Cincinnati's decision to allow white nationalist Richard Spencer to speak on campus. Tonight, a collection of groups from across the city are making a call for action. Nine on your sides, Jake Ryle joins us in the newsroom. Well, Allie, the leaders met earlier today not to bash UC's decision to allow Richard Spencer to speak, but to come up with a game plan for when he does. Hate is coming to Cincinnati. The message made abundantly clear. We want to make it clear that we're not opposed to the university allowing him to speak, but we are very opposed to his hateful message. The University of Cincinnati announced they would allow white nationalist leader Richard Spencer to speak on campus as part of his First Amendment right. His views are not about politics. It's not about the First Amendment because he's using the First Amendment as a guy's to spew hate and his, his racist views. Spencer, the man who helped orchestrate the protest in Charlottesville, Virginia. We cannot forget Charlottesville. It hasn't been that long ago. We cannot forget Heather Hare, who lost her life. Damon Lynch III, pastor of New Prospect Baptist Church. We have to stand up. People in Cincinnati right now are deciding, what do we do? Do we ignore him? Do nobody go listen? or do we confront? You have to confront hate with love. These leaders making a call to action. They say when Spencer arrives on campus, they want their voices heard loud and clear. And they say the counter protests in Boston back in August can be used as a guide. We want to show that when people come out, when people come out in numbers, we can show that his um, ideas don't have a base in society. If we are indifferent, when Richard Spencer comes to Cincinnati, we will be on the wrong side not only on that day, but of history. These leaders now organizing a citywide meeting for Thursday, where they'll lay out the blueprint for their next steps. If he comes, we cannot afford to be indifferent. Now, Spencer's attorney threatened to sue the school if it denied his request to speak. The details about his visit are still being worked out. Jake Ryle, 9 on your side.